Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. <clears throat> this is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. It is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Gemini, please spend propensity energy that is relevant to you. You may find messages in the reading. Contact information, personal reading information. Anything seen in the video will all be on my website. The link for that is in the description box. At the end, we will also pull some Oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. The reading is aimed for the month of March, but time is elusive. Whenever it reaches you, that's when you are meant to hear it. This Queen of Wands has come up in every single reading I have done so far. So you could be resonating with an Aquarius because it did come up in the Aquarius reading and it also came up in the Leo reading. It definitely could just signify airy season because this is in your now energy. We are in airy season officially by the time you guys see this. Spring equinox has happened. Happy New Year, all that sort of stuff. But definitely could have fire in your chart be dealing with a fire sign or this is just how you're presenting you're definitely taking on that go-getter attractive magnetism energy boss boss up energy of aries i always advise people to watch whatever season video we're in whether you are that sign or not always watch the season of the video the video of the season that we are in because we all take on that sort of energy right we're all influenced by it so one more card for gemini One more card for Gemini, please. Okay, perfect. Thank you. E. Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck this week, we are looking at the Queen of Swords. Definitely your energy coming in strong here. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or in Aquarius. Um, logical minded, very much in the logics here. Not really with the emotions, whoever this is, or there's been a cutoff and cutting people out. Pisces season does trigger us to do that. Get rid of the things that we don't need, right? Very logical minded. Very logical minded. Say what you need to say. Also could signify some sort of conversation, communication that might be happening, needs to happen. In your past position, the star card, major arcana for Aquarius, and the page of swords, air sign energy. Your energy could be dealing with another air sign, definitely heavy air sign energy here. So there's definitely something, someone watching you or you're watching something, observing something, studying something here. Person, place, or thing could be also looking up ways to heal for some of you. Healing techniques and that type of thing. Um, but there's something that you're hoping for. There's something or a situation that has some sort of hope. Either watching you, observing you, keeping an eye on you, keeping tabs, or you are doing this to something or someone in particular right still have hope holding out hope okay maybe someone you've cut off with that queen of swords very possible still sort of watching you from a distance here hoping to heal things in your present position queen of wands and the seven of pentacles you could very much be focused on your investments, not putting time and energy into shit and people that are not worth the time and energy very much with that Queen of Swords energy here. Right? You're only investing things. You're very, very, you're very conscious of where you put your time, energy, and money. Okay? There's definitely could be something that you had to cut off that you have spent a lot of time and energy investing, invested in a lot of time and energy into something, something you were very once passionate about maybe you've had to cut this person off to, to evaluate but if this is you as the queen of wands you're very much focused on someone else if this is love there definitely could be someone from the past that you have cut off because they were not bringing yeah double confirmation of that walking away Ooh true pair situation some of you have definitely cut off walk away from somebody could be air sign or you could be you know however it goes this is a lot of air energy here gemini libra or an aquarius could have been in aquarius season you cut them off but you've you're de you've definitely walked away emotionally from something you have invested a lot of time and energy into you're seeing it clearly you're seeing it for what it is it's no longer you know 
giving you the woo-woos. It, it's very, it's no, yeah, straight, not worth it. Moving on. Okay. And whoever this is definitely could want to come back. But I don't think, I don't think that's a thing. I don't even think you know this person is, I don't even think you care that this person is still observing you. You might be very much focused on something new here. In your future energy, I am seeing the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Knight of Cups is some sort of offer. Could be a water sign that you're dealing with. We just did come out of Pisces season. Dating. Being strategic. I also see two sevens here. Seven, seven is jackpot energy. Luck being on your side. But I definitely think that uh, maybe you're hiding that you're dating new people. You're not really putting it out there that you are dating new people, but behind the scenes, you are ready to date. And I definitely think there is someone that you are going to meet that you are or probably have already met this person. True pair here, king and queen of swords, someone that you are extremely attracted to, someone that is extremely attracted to you, like two birds of a feather, entrepreneur energy here. This, person's, this person gets you or they will. You'll get this person, you, this person gets you. So whoever this air sign is, I'm just going to say it's an air sign. They got they got a rude awakening here coming to them. Seven of Swords. Deception. This could also be self-deception too. Whoever this is that you have cut off from the past, they probably think they still got it like that. Little do they know they don't. I think you're very much going to be focused on someone new here that is going to be pursuing you heavily, male or female, someone that is very in tune with their emotions, someone that is a go-getter, doesn't waste time, more Aries, uh, fire sign energy, but someone that definitely gets you, someone that is in alignment with you. While this person thinks their little watching game from a distance is, you know, that you're waiting or something. Yeah, new cycle. New cycle about to start here for you. Leaving that old shit behind because someone definitely i think someone new has feelings for you look how they've grown from the knight of cups to the king of cups true pair energy yeah moving on moving on to something new something exciting something fresh something that maybe came out of the blue surprised you but surprisingly very well suited to you beautiful energy this is hot <laughs> This is hot. Physically, energetically, it could be a very attractive couple, whoever this new person is, but I'm definitely getting it someone new. While someone from the past is still sort of thinking how to come back, but there's going to be a rude awakening when they finally decide to come back. I think the Seven of Pentacles is also them saying, oh, you know, I've, we've invested so much time into this. She's looking towards the future, Queen of Wands. Definitely looking towards the future. Are very clear about where it is you're not wanting to be and where it is you need to be. So, lots of walking away energy here. Starting new, moving on. And usually the Eight of Cups, we are going towards our Two of Cups. Somewhere that is mutually yoked. A situation that is mutually yoked. And I definitely think it's something new with that Page of, page of Cups energy. Someone that is stable. Someone that's going to love you. Okay, oracles. What do we have? Oh. Expect powerful change, Gemini. New moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. Yeah, this is going to be real powerful for you. Someone that is definitely speaking your language. You speak theirs. You they you speak they speak yours. <laughs> this past situation is it's not even a thing to you. And someone here is. Whoever this page of swords is, rude awakening when they find out. Because you might not be making this public that you're seeing someone or will be seeing someone. But by the time they come back in, you'll probably have already met. See, they're like locked eyes. Queen of Wands and King of Wands. Beautiful. And there's love, mature love. Someone that is emotionally available. Someone that is emotionally mature with the King of Cups. And someone that's going to really love you from the depths of their soul. Sacred Beetles. Sacred beetle spirit. Magic works through you. Definitely, I think you're coming up as that queen of wands. Number 52, another seven. Seven, seven, seven. About to hit the jackpot. About to hit the jackpot here. 
all because you're choosing to focus on the future or you just or you got clear you got clear you used Pisces season very wise. Let's get one of these for you, Gemini. For Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Could heavily be dealing with an air sign or someone with heavy in their chart. That's the past person, but this new person, fire sign, water sign. Could just be in fire sign season because in your timing we have seven. Um, but I definitely think this could be happening now with all this fire sign energy. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming in order for to fit in? You're no longer doing that. This is what you had to do with this past person. Dim. You are the star. Right? Look at the comparison. You're a whole major arcana and this person's a page. You are a whole major arcana. You're not even a king or queen. You're a, you're a major arcana. A force. To be reckoned with and this person's a page okay <laughs> but you're about to meet a king a king a double king good king and we saw the page of pen uh the, the the knight of pentacles so this person can definitely go the long haul they're they're all about that long-term investment if it's work even better could definitely be leaving one job for another job becoming very clear that wherever you are at now they're not giving you what you're worth they're not so decisions have to be made. New cycles have to be started. Old ones have to be released. Finally ready to do so. Getting clear. Don't dim to fit in. This is also alignment energy. Maybe for a while you, you know, looked over this person, this past person's faults, but not anymore. Not if you're the star and the queen of wands. The eyes are opening now. That third eye always sees. All right, Gemini, that is your reading for the week. Let me know if it resonates. Let me know if you like the new setup. Thumbs me up, and I will see you guys all next week.